this motherfucker right here, Philip Adams, shot five and then thankfully put one in the roof of his mouth. Adams, 32, a former NFL player, barely, was identified by law enforcement officials as a man who gunned down a doctor, his wife, their two grandchildren, and a worker on April 7th in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Adams, who lived a quarter mile from the home where Dr. Robert Leslie and his family were found dead, was himself found dead. Yay, can we have a round of applause? At the house he shared with his father, authorities told reporters in a press conference on Thursday. They said the motive of the shooting is not yet clear. Oh, we got some fucking big brain takes when it comes to this here in a minute. We gathered a lot of information. We have a lot of information to gather as to the why. York County Sheriff Cal er, Kevin Tolson said Adams died of a self-inflicted sunroof installation. According to the York County Coroner's Office, it was weird. I thought it would be an overly avarice police officer that would get blamed for it. Adams' sister, Laurel Adams, told USA Today that her brother's mental health degraded fast and terribly bad. Okay, yeah, of course, blame it on the only thing that made you relevant, right? That's also what his father said. Father of Shooter blames football for son's actions. Of course, it's never somebody's problem. It's always something else that had to do with it. While authorities piece together why a Philip Adams killed five people before killing himself on Wednesday, the former cornerback's father says he knows the reason. Football, obviously. Adams played a total of 78 games for six teams over five seasons. Okay, if he played in the NFL for five seasons, just say even if he made the league minimum, he should have been set up for quite a while, right? He only played for five seasons. Okay, yeah, even if he played all the way through Pop Warner. Yeah, okay, the argument. Oh, football was his life, right? And then when it eventually came crashing down and he had nothing left, well, he would have went to school for a couple of years. Why didn't you save your paychecks? Why didn't you realize that the average career for an NFL player is three years? So you just about doubled the average career expectancy for an NFL player. That's why we reported, what, a couple of days ago that uh, Alberta's curriculum, I know that this wouldn't help to this fucking psychopath, this Chris Benoit impressionist, that it's such a good thing that the K-6 through curriculum is going to get revamped to include financial literacy, I believe they worded it that way, to figure out how to balance a budget, figure out the importance of of managing your money because you never know and especially right now people are living with the consequences of not being intelligent with their finances because at a moment everything could just come right to a screeching halt and your business has to shut down and you might have thought that you could have been able to survive it for a couple of months but here we are not 13 months fucking later everything is still locked down and especially in Alberta Ontario Quebec, all throughout Canada, through some states as well, through some countries in the European Union, they're locking down for a third time. But don't worry, this is going to definitely be the last time until the next flu pops up, until the next situation arises where it's like, oh no, don't worry, uh, small businesses, you'll be able to come back. But um, just 15 days to slow the spread of this disease, right? that um is only knocking off grandma anyways more on that later but let's see what other kind of um explaining away we have here his nfl career was plagued with injury starting in 2010 didn't you think that he should have started planning ahead then when he needed screws inserted in his ankles after he suffered a severe injury a year later with the raiders he had two concussions over three games oh so it's clearly cte right I hate when people fucking blame stuff on that. Anyways, but ESPN reports he was not eligible for the league's broad settlement when its players for head injury testing became... Oh, because he wasn't retired by 2014. I can say he's a good kid and he was a good kid until he shot up that family and then thankfully finished the job. And I think the football... Oh, yeah, and I think the football messed him up. Lonzo Adams told... WCNC TV. He didn't talk much and he didn't bother nobody. Really? His actions beg to differ. Adam's father told a Charlotte television station that he blamed football for the problems, not the fact that he was probably a shitty father. Led his son to commit Wednesday's violence, DSPN report. His sister, Lauren Adams, also said on Friday the former cornerback's behavior shifted dramatically in the past couple of years, shouldn't he have been getting help then? Said she thinks some of the mental health issues that can be tracked to his NFL career, right? Never take responsibility for yourself. Which began in 2010 after he finished playing college at South Carolina State. Yeah, 
good college, but um, you should have known. So, okay, his career began in 2010, right? Okay, he started having injury problems then. Don't you think that that's going to be a red flag that you aren't going to be sticking around for very long? Whatever, I need not sound like a broken record. His career ended in 2015. Lauren Adams told USA Today her brother didn't previously show signs of violent behavior and wasn't a monster, but his mental health was degrading fast. His mental health degraded fast and terribly bad. There was usual behavior. I'm not going to get into all the symptoms because you probably can't make them up on the spot now, can you? We definitely did notice signs of mental illness that was extremely concerning. Then why didn't you get him any help? That was not like we had ever seen. His sister said things got progressively worse. Adams neglected his hygiene and withdrew from people. Oh my God, if he's actually displaying those kind of symptoms, a guy, okay, you guys know football players. I was a football player very briefly until I fucked up my knee, but that's a story for another time. They're always very close with their team, okay? And especially cornerbacks, they'd be in with the secondary, they'd be in with the safeties, right? They'd be a fairly tight-knit group. And then, yeah, I can sympathize with this guy. I know, shocker. Once everything that you know and you love, event, well, just kind of evaporates, okay? All your close friends, you're bouncing around from team to team. And then you go from something that, uh, what, you've experienced for, at that point, conservatively, well, let's say football's been a part of your life for 15 years, probably upwards of 20. You start the kids young. Right? You go from that environment, you go from knowing the same type of people over and over again, and then it's just taken away from you. But if it was only in the past couple of years, he started to display those signs of uh, mental degradation. And when you come up, you can't get into all the symptoms, but you can also tell the USA Today, the NFL was trying to nickel and dime him. How so? And the whole world was against him. Clearly, right? It was probably racism as well. I know he had been applying for disability, and he said they were making it hard for him. Yeah, probably because he didn't test right. Fucking happens, okay? And towards the end, he felt like they were trying to basically stiff him on money. Listen, dude, in situations like that, you get the help you need, okay? You made your millions. Even if he did fuck it all away, there are other programs out there. If the NFL's being shitty, it's not out of their norm to be shitty. You try to go other ways. Listen, everybody in this fucking story was probably benefiting off of him, okay? When he was playing in the NFL. Oh, my brother's in the NFL. Oh, my son's in the NFL. I'm going to get me some new threads. I don't know. It's probably something like that. And then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, yeah, he started to uh, withdraw, and uh, he was getting really weird. Why didn't you help him? Why didn't you try to avoid this? And now five other people are dead because you guys were just trying to glob on. I hate the story immensely. Perhaps he should have just stuck it out a little bit longer. He could have got that new run of Captain America and, and took some pointers from the new Red Skull. With that said, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.